Hey guys, what's going on? So this is my review of the Kippon ND filter that I got from B&H. And it came in like this, but it was missing a few things. There's a screw here that's missing. It was the used unit. So I went and ordered a brand new one from B&H. That one came in and it was, the screw was there on this one to keep it in, but it was missing the pass-through. And so then with the second one, there was still no blank tray because if you don't have a clear UV filter in it, you're not going to be able to focus them to infinity and it's very annoying. So that little bit of glass that's missing, if there's no UV filter in there or some kind of uh, blank piece of glass, uh, then you cannot focus to infinity. Over here we have the R5 and it's got the Canon adapter with an ND drop-in filter on it and we're going to compare it versus the, the Kippon drop-in filter and see what how it looks like between the two. So then I ordered a third filter from Adorama. So I'm going to open up the Adorama Kippon filters and as you can see on Adorama they're no longer available but the link is still there and you can see on the Adorama it also says that it comes with a blank tray to put inside. So in this blank tray, you should be able to put a 37 millimeter clear UV filter. All right, let's dive into the Kaipon from Adorama. As you can see, the boxes are a bit different and there is a blank tray in this one, so that's great. All right, and as you can see, this one has a screw and it won't be falling out, so that's great news. The black flange is nice and nope the filter doesn't fall out these are the adapter height differences as you can see if there is some opticals in between it does affect the distance so these are just empty adapters with nothing inside as you can see it's a little bit thicker than the adapters with the drop-in filters the only issue with any of these with either the Sony or the Canon is the cage. The cage does not allow you to be able to just pop it out on the camera. You have to take the lens off to swap it out. All right, so now that we've got everything uh, cleaned up and put away, we're gonna test these two lenses out with one drop-in filter versus the other. This is the R5 has the 24 mil on it. This is the Canon CNE 24 millimeter and the other one, I believe, has the 35, and the Sony will have the 35 mil. So we're going to be testing these together, uh, Canon versus Kippon. I've got these little uh, wristbands that are wrapped around my Canons. That way I can grab them a little easier. The Canon one's really nice. It fits really well. There's very little play. The optics of the ND filter seem pretty good. So the biggest thing that we're going to test is going to be what the image looks like when a light source is hitting it, how the light source looks, and of course the contrast and the color. The light source will just be my phone, my phone's LED shining behind the lens like a backlight. As you can see here, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty normal. We're going to check out the light source and how the lens flare looks. This is without the lens flare with the lens flare. A little bit dirty. Transitioning between the two. This one's going to be the Sony A7S with the 35mm CNE with the Kaipon adapter. As you can see, the light source, it's got some rings around it. There's quite a bit of haze versus the Canon. And overall, the adapter is pretty terrible in terms of contrast and light source, like artifacts or rings. All right, so these are gonna be straight out of camera. And then we're gonna grade them and see what it looks like.
grade them and try to match them. Alright, so those are the results. That concludes my review. Let me know what you think.